The West Virginia Democratic Senator Joe Manchin walked a fine line this Sunday uh, on whether he's going to support a round of stimulus checks. Specifically, he says he does not want stimulus checks for people because they are making too much money. Um, mm -hmm. These checks will not be given to anybody above $75,000 a year. And that's a single person, which I believe is maybe a much, but I think that still the group of people who will spend that money or they will save that Hello? money for most people hmm. as a uh, as a you broke up for a second Lofty? i'm sorry no 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 yeah it, it oh, okay. froze for a gotcha. second but you're good i got scared i was like where do you go <laughs> so, yeah. yeah so he's quoted as saying sending checks to people that basically already have a check and aren't going to be able to spend that are not going to spend it usually are putting it into their savings accounts right now right now that's not who we are that's that's where that pissed me off that's not who we are. So what he's basically saying is that the people who are really making maybe $55,000 during this pandemic don't deserve, and they're still paying taxes on that, mind you. Depending upon where they live, $55,000, you know what I mean? And, and some people have child support. Some people have all these other things and responsibilities. Yes. That might have already been, you know, like already exhausted or almost next to exhausted. Like I, I've made decent income in my past um and i still seem to struggle you know what i mean so imagine now you know what i mean i'm struggling now don't get me wrong i'm, I'm making less than i did before and um you know for him to say that that's that's an insult he, he doesn't everybody's situation is different and you know keep everybody over water you know above water this way we can actually heal after this this COVID thing but no you're make you're adding salt to the wound by doing that man and you know, he's got plenty of money in health care and everything else. He doesn't have to worry about it. And a lot of his stuff. So, that, go ahead. Go ahead. No, no, keep going. Please, no, I'm just please, saying please. He's, 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 a, he's basically a Republican and Democratic clothing. You know what I mean? Democrat clothing. He's just his whole mentality is like, you know, the same talking points as a Republican. And like I said, I have nothing against anybody. But if your intentions, it's like we've talked about this many a shows. It's all about intentions, man. If your intentions aren't there to benefit the people and you're you're uh you've been elected by us then you don't belong there man like like i don't know I, i'm i'm proud of what bernie's been doing and a couple of other people have been doing with the two thousand dollars things but it's it's people like him we have a a 51 to 50 split in the in the uh senate right so if we have democrats yeah. flaking we're gonna have problems you know what i mean so I don't know. So, so let's show you what Joe Manchin is really like, because there's a good card here. If you go to me. Okay. So just as Joe Manchin, if you don't know him, Joe Manchin the third. So that's not saying anything at all. Um, but more importantly, let's look at his ideology. Manchin is in the middle of the pack for Republicans. And it is, this is an ideology score from um, governmenttrack.us, which is a pretty, this is from 2017 to 2021's, his bills that he has sponsored and co-sponsored. So mm. most of the bills that he's sponsored have an ideology score that run into the Republican Party. And there's only one other Democrat that is farther right than him, per se. So that's what we're dealing with for our future. Um, and I hate to tell you, that's the real problem with the 50-50 split. I'm still glad it's a 50-50 split instead of being 51-49, 52-48. But we're never going to persuade a mansion to change his position. Um, and that's just what I want to indicate is that his ideology scores and where he lays is basically as a Republican. He has a D for reform of marijuana laws. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. And, it's, and I hate to tell you, like places like West Virginia, states like that, it's not like there's not use of marijuana or other drugs. They are the ones that would be directly uh, helped by legalizing or decriminalizing drugs because specifically they need help. They need yeah. straight up like assistance and real to, to spend money on actual social programs for people and that's not happening with a joe manchin as your senator no no no